Are you guys bummed that there's nothing new for Diablo 2 Resurrected Season 5? Me too. But thank God we have Project Diablo 2. There's fantastic mods, obviously. PD2 is really fantastic. They're adding in crazy new uber bosses. I love that. I would totally be cool if Diablo 2 added like another expansion, added more endgame. Today, I'm going to propose my list of changes and ways that Diablo 2 could be improved. Starting off, we have crafting. Project Diablo 2 does this in some small ways here, right? These sorts of small crafting ideas I think are really great. Mr. Lama's right. Crafting on Project Diablo 2 is really amazing. And if you guys haven't experienced it yet, you should. Improve so many uniques. There's too many uniques to even name that need improvement in this game. Materials might make the rarest item in the game have some value. The majority of unique items in Diablo 2 Resurrected are useless and they need a revamp. Finding a unique sacred armor should be more than just checking off a box on your holy grail list. Project Diablo 2 does an amazing job at revisiting every unique and set item, even rune words, and fixing them to make them viable for your characters. Getting into rune words, I think the only rune word changes that I want to make right now are nerfing Grief, Spirit, Enigma, and Mosaic. Spirit is just, it destroys all staves, is best in slot. It's just too good for nothing. Just bring it down from plus two to plus one skills. And that's exactly what PD2 has done with the Spirit Rune Word. It only rolls plus one to all skills. Instead, they focus more on the uniques, and you could find a Littlest Wall, which rolls one to two skills. And the last one is nerfing Mosaic. Mosaic came into the game and has now created the strongest build in the game. Mosaic doesn't even exist in Project Diablo 2, and that's by choice. Instead, the team focuses in the MA skill tree and making it stronger, instead of just making some overpowered rune word. Adding a loot filter that's customizable. Allow it to have alerting as well. There's great loot filters already in a bunch of Diablo 2 mods. PD2 has a wide selection of very clean loot filters that also come with alerts, just in case a high rune drops and you don't see it. Adding a currency tab and allowing for stacking. Again, I know these are getting to like slightly bigger changes, but man, 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 I really wish uh, that they would that they would add this in. There's no currency tab in PD2, but we do allow stacking. Stack your runes, your gems, and your keys, baby. Make a charm bag only for charms. I think that'll be cleaner, feel better, look better, and play better. I actually agree with Mr. Lama about this. D2R players deserve a charm bag. It's so annoying fumbling around with loot when you're magic finding by yourself, picking up items, putting them in your cube, uh, having ID scrolls or TP scrolls in your belt inventory. It's annoying. In PD2, we have a big inventory and all of your charms line up at the bottom. Create an in-game trade market experience. This is a big ask. Again, this wouldn't be one of those like overnight changes. Project Diablo 2 has its own trading website and it's similar to POEs where you whisper the player that's online in game. Uh, and this is for kind of changing skills, some tweaks I would look at for skills. We all know in D2R, you basically only have three classes to pick from. The Blizzard Sorceress, the Hammerden Paladin, and the brand new Mosaic Assassin. In PD2, they revisited every class's skill tree, and this graph pretty much sums it up for you. So, with that being said, before we end, I want to bring one piece over to the big topic. And this is the big question. Teleport. What do you do with teleport? It's so important in the game, it kind of becomes this like, maybe we need to add it in other places. And that's exactly what PD2 did. It's in the Druid skill tree, it's called Gust, and you can reduce the cooldown by putting more points into the skill. Necromancers also have a version of Teleport in their skill tree called Blood Warp, and every time you use it, it just reduces your HP a little bit. I think the idea of l reducing how good Enigma is still is not a bad idea. What I do really like is I like the idea of charges. This is my personal favorite idea of it. Having charges on it but not charges that you have to go and repair every single time. I think charges of um, 
a uh, essentially a cooldown and i hate cooldowns but auto replenishing charges of teleport i think would be really nice so basically what project diablo 2 has already done in project diablo 2 enigma gives you a level one blink you get five charges and they auto replenish over time in the end it looks like your wish list for d2r season 5 already exists but on pd2 come try it for yourself september 22nd the new season is dropping season 8 and i hope to see you guys there thanks for watching the video and until next time peace